if you stop 100 people in the street, uh, well, one of their legitimate concerns would be the cliff edge and the sudden imposition of tariffs between the EU and the UK. Um, and if you ask those same 100 people about GATT24, they would look at you blankly, and I doubt if one person would, would have heard of it. Mm -hmm. So, although the people in this room are, are familiar with the GATT24 <coughs> rule, um, and it's used in the case of Brexit, why is that not getting uh, disseminated to the general public? Is it that MPs are not talking about it? Is it that the press don't understand it? Why, why, why are we not hearing about it? I mean, the, the, the simple truth of the matter is we're facing a massive struggle to get information out to the people uh, because the establishment includes the media, uh, particularly the BBC, but Sky are just as bad. You know, if, if I'm interviewed by Adam Bolton and there's a Remainer on, uh, it's two to one, at least. Um, media Watch, of course, identified to, the, to Ofcom and the Dutch General of the BBC recently that the number of Remainers on set programmes that they'd actually looked at over a period of six months, the number of Remainers outnumbered um, leavers uh, by about four to one. Uh, Ofcom ruled that the BBC had no obligation for balance <laughs> under, in relation to this issue because uh, there are so many fragmented views on Brexit that it's not actually something that the BBC can balance. So, I mean, that's the depth of the establishment issue that we're facing. I think Brexit MPs have a good understanding of it because my, you know, I can see on the blog sites that there's a conversation about it. I think the Remain supporting MPs don't want to know, quite frankly. I mean, this is a religious issue. 